Well, he's got Kerry Farr in his corner. Kerry Farr knows the boxing game. Hello, friend. I'm boxing coach Kerry Farr, and I want to invite you to take my guaranteed weight loss challenge. Now, as I sit here, I'm 30 pounds overweight, and in the next week, I'm going to do this diet that I'm going to recommend to you, and I'm going to come back and put a video up at the end of this video that you that, that will link to this video that you can watch and you'll see how much weight I've lost in one week. I've done it before. 10 years ago, I wrote the book Young Again, how I reversed the aging process, restored my health and lost 40 pounds. And I wanna do it again. I wanna get in shape. I wanna prove that you can get in shape and be fit and fabulous at any age. Now. A lot of you have done keto diets, and a keto diet is a, ha a high-fat diet with low carbohydrate, and it works very well for many people, but there are other people that it doesn't work so well for. Now, the second diet, which I think is absolutely the best diet, it's not the one I'm going to recommend to you today, so don't freak out, is a vegan diet. And uh, Dr. John McDougall has a starch-based diet. I've been through his program there in Santa Rosa, California twice. And it's, an, it's a phenomenal diet if you can do veganism. Basically, you eat a plant-based diet, mostly of starches, with absolutely uh, no fat, no oil whatsoever. And it's a great diet. It will improve your health. It will help you lose weight like crazy. The problem with the starch-based McDougal diet for me is that I eat so many carbohydrates on that diet, it fuels my appetite and causes me to want cakes and pies and all of that stuff I shouldn't be eating, so it's not a good option for me. My daughter and my granddaughter, I took them to the program. They've been vegans for the last couple of years after I took them to the uh, Dr. McDougal program, so it's a great program. But what I want to recommend to you today is a diet where you can have meat and vegetables and some berries. It's a low sugar, it's a low fat, and actually it's a pretty low carbohydrate diet. But this diet, base, in, in, in its simplest form, just basically states that you can eat all of the uh, grilled fish, grilled chicken, grilled turkey, or baked, or uh, blackened that you want, and all of the green and yellow vegetables that you want, and that weight, that fat, will melt off of your body. Now, let me walk you through a typical day, you know, what you might have for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And as I'm sharing this information with you, we will post photographs of what your plate should look like uh, in each meal. So for breakfast, what I will do is I will have an egg white omelet, no cheese, but I'll take one whole egg and mix it with three egg whites and make an omelet out of that with a lot of vegetables. And then with breakfast, you can have one half a bowl of berries, blackberries, blueberries, strawberries, you know, whatever type of berry that you like you can have for breakfast. You want to eat the the sugar in the morning because your body has time to burn it off. So you can have a little treat in the morning. Your nice omelet with all the vegetables you want with a half a bowl of berries. Now, you know, if you want, you can, you can have a, a, you know, a chicken or fish or turkey for breakfast with vegetables. It doesn't matter, but you know, most people like something that tastes a little different for breakfast. Well, for lunch, you're going to have either chicken, turkey, or fish grilled or blackened, or baked, and you know, and you can put nice sauces on it and stuff like that, and you're going to have a couple of vegetables. You can have a salad. You want to be very careful with the dressings. The dressings are loaded with fat, and they're about 200 calories per tablespoon, so they'll make you fat as a pig. Stay away from those. Now, this is going to be a one-week challenge, so you know, you can do it for a week. So sit, you're going you're gonna to have your protein source, and you might have green beans and broccoli and some salad. You know, you can have some sliced tomatoes, some onions. You know, stay away from 
Uh, all of the potatoes don't have any of the starchy uh, vegetables, no carrots. Uh, stay away from beets. Stay away from all of those high sugar things. We're focusing on protein and green vegetables primarily. Green, yellow vegetables, onions, things like that. So you can do that. You do the same thing for dinner. And I will guarantee you, or as my old country dad used to say, I guarantee you, you're going to lose a lot of weight. You're going to get in shape. You're going to reverse the aging process. You're going to be fit and fabulous over 50. So I would encourage you to join me today for the Fit and Fabulous Over 50 journey.